Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I wanted to just sit down and chat with you guys real quick. Um, I posted on Instagram a few weeks ago on this topic and I got a really good response out of it. Um, seemed like it was helpful for a lot of people, so I thought it might just be good to sit down and make an actual video talking about it. Um, and it is a few red flags to look out for when you're doing your final walkthrough on a house. So <clears throat> if you haven't been through the process or if you just want a refresher, the final walkthrough is one of the very last steps before you actually close on your house and get your keys to your new house. Um, it's basically just your chance before you actually close to just do a quick walkthrough, make sure that everything looks good. Um, just that the seller upheld the terms of your agreement, everything like that. So if you are about to go through that process or if you just wanna keep it in mind for when you do, here's a few red flags to look out for when you do that final walkthrough. Okay, the number one red flag I would say is to make sure that all the repair requests that you ask the seller to complete have been done. Um, so your realtor will have a list of that, but I also recommend just having a list of that on your phone or writing it down or whatever. Um, any repairs that you requested after the home inspection, just you know, walk through the house, make a note of all those, take a look at everything that you asked for and just make sure that those repair requests were done because if they weren't, um, you still have a tiny bit of time to talk to the seller and make sure those things are done. So make sure you take a look at those things. Number two would just be any signs of pests or mold, um, any new signs that you hadn't noticed before um, because your inspection period has already pretty much ended. Um, the home inspection has already been done. You wanna just make sure that there's no new signs. Um, so say you were about to close on a house, you didn't notice any mold or anything like that um, during the inspection um, period. But when you do the final walkthrough, you do see some signs of it um, on a wall or something like that. You need to make sure that you make a note of that, talk to your realtor about it because they're gonna bring it up to the seller and the listing agent and make sure that's addressed before closing. So be sure to just take that into account, keep an eye on all those things um, and just make sure you look for those things because this is your chance to get a result. Number three would be appliances missing or maybe appliances suddenly not working. Um, when you submitted your offer, you might have asked for appliances to be included. Generally, things like the stove, um, dishwasher, built-in microwave, things like that are included. Um, the fridge, things like that are not always included. So if you did ask for those things um, that aren't generally included, make sure that they're still there. Um, regardless, go through and make sure that all the, all the appliances are still working correctly. Everything looks good on that front um, because again, this is kind of your last chance to address any issues like that. So just be sure. And the last thing that I would recommend is just kind of going around and looking at the walls, making sure that there's, there's no new damage. Um, so any scuffs or holes in the walls, anything like that that might've happened while the seller was moving things around, anything like that. Um, just look at those things closely and make sure everything looks good because again, this is kind of your last chance to address any issues that come up before you actually close on your house so if anything like that does catch your eye or if you make a note of any of this stuff make sure you talk to your realtor about it and see what you can do about it before you close all right those are some of the main things that i recommend looking for um again always helpful to talk to your realtor and your realtor will kind of walk you through those things when you go to your um, final walkthrough but just a few things to keep in mind i hope this was helpful and if you have any questions on buying or selling or anything like that, I'd be happy to help. I'm a realtor here in Southeastern Idaho and love to help you however I can. So just drop them in the comments below or send me an email, connect with me on social media, whatever you want to do, I'm available. So hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.